talking with teenagers in my clinic, I've had growing concerns about the impact of media on teens' thoughts and decisions when it comes to substances like nicotine, alcohol, weed, and other drugs. I started vaping. Our kids, teenagers, they're exposed to so many different things on social media these days, a lot of them being influenced in dangerous ways. Now, the negative mental health impact has been very well documented, and you're looking at footage here from a new series of documentaries called Screenagers, which show some of the negative impact that uh, screens, social media, cell phones are having on the younger generations. And here with us in studio this morning to tell us more is Dr. Delaney Rustin. She is not only a physician, but the documentary filmmaker as well uh, that spearheaded these projects. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate your time. First of all, there are four different versions of this documentary. Yeah. What uh, will people learn by watching these? Yes, well, what you just saw a clip from was Screen Ages Under the Influence, which is looking at addresses, alcohol, drugs, and vaping in the digital age, because kids are so impacted. But what's really exciting is just right now, we've launched a fourth Screen Ages film called Screen Ages Elementary School Age Edition, which is to reach people parents, kids, and educators, and everyone involved in kids' life to reach them at a younger age so that we can set healthy boundaries and really address what they're actually doing and make healthier choices. The way I found out about you and this film series is because of the Wait Till 8th campaign, where it's a pledge where parents like me are signing it and agreeing to wait till 8th grade or after 8th grade to get our uh, children cell phones. You are a physician yourself. You see young patients. What inspired you to spearhead these films? Yes, yeah, so well, 12 years ago, I was really, actually longer than that, um, about 13 years ago, I was struggling as a mom with a tween and a teen. Uh. As a doctor, I was seeing lots of conflicts between the, my patients and their parents, and I realized this was a huge issue with this new digital technology. And, and so I said, hey, if I'm struggling, other parents are struggling, we need to do something. The, this cause is really having a moment. Um, yeah. The book, um, the, anxious uh, the Anxious generation, generation, thank you, Jonathan Haidt, The Anxious Generation, The Wait Slate Campaign, films like this. What is your advice? Uh, now that we're kind of deep into the digital age, yeah. you know, I'm a parent of an eight-year-old, what would you say your kind of main advice is to parents who do have uh, elementary school-aged children right now? I would say first and foremost is that we can't do this alone. In fact, this is why these films, the four Screen Ages films, is all about bringing people together. And in fact, in 2017, we started Anthony Away for the Day, which is helping schools to get phones put away for the day. Yeah. We have to do this together. So parents need to do things like join wait till 8th. There is okay to delay. We have to be working with our schools and parents working together. And as a society, we don't tend to think that way as much. And this tech revolution really makes us know that we have to now get out of our silos and work together. And it seems like more and more states are getting on board too. I know uh, California just this week, uh, there was a uh, an ordinance passed there, yep. uh, getting rid of cell phones in the schools. I know Florida has had a similar uh, effort as well. Now, this film is actually available to screen in schools. How does that work? Yeah, we basically, we license all of the films to schools and to actually workplaces all over. Places are screening these to bring people together. We can't do this in silos. And what they get is they get curriculums that go with the films and they have additions that just go to the students during the school day. So it's really getting the entire community thinking about these things. But I want to make one key point. The films are full of solutions through stories and science. I was tired of the idea of just saying what the problems are. My whole work as a physician and a longtime documentary filmmaker is making films that get people thinking about solutions and then talking together about creating safeguards in their home, ongoing healthy conversations, and having loving boundaries and learning how to validate to our kids that this is hard, we want your input, We'll make changes along the way, and these are the reasons why we and other families are making these decisions. It, it, we parents are an easy sell on this, but it sounds like these films are having an actual impact after the children see them. They can mm -hmm. 
have a little bit of insight it into the problem. It doesn't have to just come from the parent. Exactly. exactly. This is really great. Thank you so much, Dr. Delaney Rustin. Again, the movie is uh, it's called Screenagers. The newest version is the elementary school edition of this. And you can find out more by going to ScreenagersMovie.com. Dr. Rustin, thank you so much for your time.